The first four-cylinder motor that I put together was this um, Smithsonian four-cylinder. I think I put this together about two years ago, and um, I think I, I had to go through a couple of boxes before I found, got one that had all of the parts to it. But after I did put it together and was putting it together, um, it went together without any problems uh, for me. Uh, and it also operates pretty well. The thing I do like about these four cylinder engines, um, it, you can see the operation of the engine uh, better than uh, the V8s are kind of blocked by the bulk of the, um, of the engine itself. But with these straight fours, uh, it's pretty easy to take a look in there and, um, and see everything that's going on. Um, I Take a look at the um, all the reviews. I went to Amazon to get an idea about what the current prices are. And they uh, on these visible plastic engines, the prices are really all over the place. Uh, I'd recommend probably just Google the engine that you're interested in. And you could take a look at Amazon, uh, Amazon's third party vendors and also independent vendors to get an idea of prices. They are all over the place. But anyway, this for me went together well. It operates well, well enough. It's pretty noisy. Let me just plug this thing in. Pretty noisy. But it does operate. Uh, the spark plugs go off when the uh, uh, piston hits top dead center. And you can easily see the crankshaft and the pistons going up and down. Uh, you can also pretty easily see the rocker arms operating also. But as I say, it is pretty darn noisy. I don't. I didn't bother to. Um, polish the cam lobes or I didn't I didn't put any grease on the bearing surfaces either I I don't want, I don't want to risk getting fingerprints greasy fingerprints all over the uh, plastic block so I just put it together and then I run it uh, if you're putting it together with somebody I think the, the fun is really going to be putting it together and um, and then watching it operate for the first time, probably. Um, there's no way you're going to uh, run this often enough that you're going to wear out any of the bearing surfaces. Um, so uh, to me, that's, that's the fun, putting it together and then um, seeing if it runs. So the, um, the other one that I put together here, is this is the Discovery Channel Put that up here Discovery Channel uh, here again this has a um, kind of tinted plastic the block and it does um, obscure your vision a little bit in terms of being able to see it operate um, it's a pretty cool looking engine, um, and it operate you know pretty much the same concept uh, as the other one. Yeah, I um, I always try to uh, tuck away the ignition wires so it doesn't look like a complete rat's nest. If you want nice looking ignition wires, get yourself the Mustang 289 or the um, Porsche Boxer Flat Six do a very nice job with the presentation of the distributor wires. Um, but this is a nice looking engine. Um, I, I don't know, maybe a year ago I put this together. Um, I didn't have any problem with parts missing or with parts not fitting. Um, I have seen particularly on that Smithsonian engine, a lot of people had a lot of problems with parts not fitting or parts missing. Pretty much works the same as uh, as the other one. You can hear how noisy this one is, and um, the uh, 
the, the uh, lifters and the rock are on, I mean, I actually kind of snap into, snap into position as they operate. There's nothing smooth about this thing at all. There again, I didn't bother trying to polish any surfaces, and I didn't put any um, uh, silicon grease on there that some people might want to put on there. But it does operate quite well, and um, you can really e pretty easily see everything operating in the engine. Uh, as I say, if it was um, a clear plastic block, uh, it'd be a little bit easier to see the parts operating, but here again, really, uh, the fun is in the building uh, by yourself or with someone and um, seeing if you uh, were successful getting it to operate. Both of them, you can uh, see the timing belt going pretty quite easily. And if you look hard enough, you can see the rocker arms and the lifters going and pretty easily see the crankshaft operating also. So uh, both of them are... For me, they're about the same uh, in terms of uh, the build and in terms of the operation. Uh, the prices are very similar, but there again, uh, the prices that I've seen on the internet are all over the place for these plastic visible engines. So um, if, if, if uh, you want to step up to a higher grade, uh, if you don't mind spending about three times the money, the, the uh, Mustang uh, 289 and the Porsche Boxer Flat 6 are really awesome engines. But um, these, as far as my money, were fun to put together and fun to operate. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.